Welcome to the channel. Today, I've got an easy, gluten-free Christmas candy recipe that only has three ingredients. We're gonna make some gluten-free Rolo pretzel bites. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So let's get started. So for this recipe, the three ingredients, gluten-free pretzels, Rolos, and M&Ms, the plain ones. And Rolos, actually do say on the back of the package down at the bottom gluten-free so i went to the store get your favorite brand of gluten-free pretzels snyder's is what we have around here most often and their twists are about that big that's really what you're looking for i grabbed this bag they didn't have the snyder's this one was actually cheaper but they are big so i'm going to do these a little differently same result You'll probably only need to eat one at a time as opposed to two or three at a time though. The hardest thing you have to do with these candies is peeling off the wrappers from the Rolos. So do that while you're watching another one of my videos maybe, shameless plug, or just watching TV for the evening, whatever you wanna do. So I've got a cookie sheet out. If you want to line it with parchment paper, you can. This is non-stick. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues. You wanna take your pretzels and spread them across the sheet. I've got my oven preheating to 250 degrees. And while that preheats, I'm gonna take my Rolos. Normally you would just center it on the small pretzels, but since I screwed it up, of course, now they're gonna look like smiley faces or something. I mean, really, if you wanted to be really decadent, you could go with three Rolos probably. Once your Rolos are all in your pretzels, you wanna pop these in the oven for four to six minutes just until the candy starts to soften. So let's get that done. So once it's been four to six minutes and everything has just started to soften, I think you know where I'm gonna go with these M&Ms. I'm just gonna take them and put one in each one. I always aim for that center and give it a gentle push. Just to flatten it out. And if you're using the little ones, it usually does a nice coverage over the most of the pretzel. With these, I'm gonna have to be a little more careful with because the holes are a little bigger. But after you get everything pressed on, Give it some time for the chocolate and the caramel to solidify. And then you are ready to snack. And I usually eat these as two or three at a time anyway. So this might be a better option for me. So I'm gonna keep putting on my M&Ms and then I'll show you what they look like. So here's our easy gluten-free Rolo pretzel candy, all done. You get the sweet from the Rolos and the caramel, M&Ms, one of everyone's favorites, and gluten-free, of course. The salt from the pretzels and the crispness of the pretzels. And I will say with pretzels, I really like gluten-free pretzels, sometimes even more so than traditional pretzels because I find that they've made them crispier and crunchier for some reason. In any case, there's an easy three ingredient gluten-free Christmas candy recipe for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any comments below and I hope to see you in the next video.